So let me just set the stage here. Uh, for those of you who don't know already, Barney just celebrated his 90th birthday. 90th So I have um, cajoled, twisted his arm, persuaded. whatever, persuaded like anyway to have Barney give us a devour Torah tonight. Not and Barney, my boy, it's all yours. Oh. <laughs> One person at a time. Look, you guys are in for a devour Torah that you've never heard before. And that's because of Larry Rachlin. He's very, very persuasive. Anyway, this week's Parsha, Vayashav, is about or encompasses Joseph and his many colored coat. Since I have a captive audience, and since I had an important birthday this month, here are a few coats that I have worn. Okay. Living through the dirty 30s, known as the Great Depression, when almost everybody was poor, those were terrible years. My first coat was a serious student violinist. Not bragging or exaggerating, winning several competitions, including a silver medal from the Royal Schools of Music, London, England, and concert master of the Manitoba Youth Orchestra. These are my paper clippings. I have a pile of them at home. You can pass them around. Wow. That <laughs> and this is the silver medal I was awarded in 1937. London, England. Not, not the Royals, not the Toronto Conservatory didn't right. rate in those days. Right, right. Okay. Nice. As a footnote, do I get to keep it? No. <laughs> As a footnote, my teacher's name was Yasha Riznitsky, who was trained at the same time as a student as Yasha Heifetz wow. in Leningrad. Wow. He wasn't as good as Yasha Heifetz. Okay. Okay, that's the first colored coat I wore. The second one was during the war years and into the RCAF. Trained for the Pacific War, and incidentally, there's a member here who was past president, Lori uh, Rosenfield, past president, who was in the same camp as I was, trained for the Pacific War. That was 70 years ago. He's pretty battered up now. I don't know if you see him. Uh, I wasn't. We were with the Army, the Navy, the Air Force. I was no war hero and could hardly wait to get out. When President Truman ordered the second nuclear bomb to be dropped on Nagasaki August the 7th, 1945, that's when I was discharged, just a later than that. I made a decision, right after the war, things were settling down, to become a dentist. Living in Winnipeg, with no faculty there at the time, Traveling to, the, to Toronto and taking the course in Toronto wasn't that easy. Graduating in 1949 and getting back to Winnipeg and practicing there for 26 and a half years, my next coat married August the 1st, 1950 to a Toronto Peterborough girl, the coat of a husband, the father, the winters in Winnipeg were very long and cold. Not very much to do there, resulting in four kids. <laughs> okay. okay. August the 7th, 1975. That's 30, how many years later? 26 and a half years later, the complete Seatner family moved to Toronto <laughs> setting up a dental office again to practice dentistry for another 27 years 
and I took an early retirement the day I turned 80. So that's it. Now, as a coach, coach as a father, grandfather, and recently great-grandfather, four kids, seven grandkids, all live in Toronto, all rational, stable, hardworking, and all worked out. I was extremely lucky. One of my great pleasures and outlets over the years has been a member of the men's club. I have always expressed my sincere <coughs> admiration for this club. I have contributed so little and received so much appreciation. Thanks and thanks again. On that note, I'll end and hang up all my coats. <laughs> Bernie, on behalf of our club, I wish you Yasha Koch. We are all looking forward to the next stage, 120. We should all live as long and be there to celebrate with you. Now, there is a surprise that uh, I want to share with you. Barney um, has graciously donated a special prize in our speech contest. It's going to be awarded to an outstanding student. It's going to be known as the Pearl and Barney Seatner Award. And Barney, we thank you very much. Cantor has got a special rendition of Happy Birthday, oh and we got a special cake. Hey, two oh, like that. Two. A one, two, three. Well, I hear you got a birthday, so I stopped by to say Happy, happy birthday in a musical way. You sure are terrific, super, really great. Your birthday is a cause for all to celebrate. Oh, it's a boogie woogie birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, your birthday only comes but once a year. And I've been sent by your admirers to make it clear. You're the birthday.